the city very willingly and really quick turnaround. I think I was in there on Monday and Wednesday. They were out here putting this water meter in. We need the water for compaction. You got to get optimum moisture in, in structural fill to make it compact to the, to the density that is called out by the engineers. It's expensive to get this water meter put in. We actually are going to have a full record of all the construction costs on the house on our Patreon account, if that's something that would be useful to you. So the water line is stubbed up underground. We had that marked. The call before you dig people showed us where it was. You may be able to see there's this blue sounding wire right there that can also locate the line. They've got an extra washer right there, which I assume is for that valve. This valve, the lockable valve, is the property of the city. This meter is the property of the city. You see it is set at zero. Right here, it becomes the property owner's problem and property. So this valve belongs to me. The city never wants you to mess with that valve. Now, sometimes you have to. If this one won't shut off or if they neglected to put one on at, at your condition, you have to operate that. But in general, this is the place that the people who live here will be able to turn the water on and turn it off. We're going to throw in kind of a little temporary hookup so I can get a garden hose attached to that. It'll be really nice to have for washing out, washing off concrete tools and wheelbarrows and, and like I say, um, getting the optimum moisture in the subgrade. If you wonder if you have a leak in your house somewhere, a slow leak, you know, maybe there's water showing up under your subgrade in your yard or, or you hear water dripping and you can't find it, come out to your meter and if you've got one of those little triangles right there, that thing spins amazingly fast if there is any water at all escaping from the system. Now, the actual numerals that determine your billing and the actual quantity of water used in cubic feet move ever so slowly. But that little triangular indicator right there spins like a top. If there's even a drip, you'll be able to see that thing moving in real time. So that's something that sometimes people aren't aware of that makes it possible and easier to locate if you have a serious plumbing problem in your house. So we've got trouble-free water. Trouble-free water is something that we take for granted, but it's clean, the pressure's good, it's steady, and we're just darn glad to have it.